All right, so um, <clears throat> I'd like to <clears throat> um, test drive these new poems. I hope they're all the road, and I hope you can hold the road with me. Um, and just a footnote for people who don't know me. Um, I work in the decorating game, which informs a good third, perhaps more of what I do, what I write about. A bit more than that, but it's, it starts off with the, brings the imagery, etc. And uh, I suppose it's a USP. <laughs> if it's worth having more, I don't, I don't think it's worth having more, quite frankly, but nobody cares. But you might care, because you're here. Um, the tradesman to the artist, vice versa. Uh, back again. And I write small poems, short poems, but because we've got 15 minutes, I've decided to do two longer poems, but this is a, uh, this is a short poem. Autobiography. From first light, the crack in the ceiling above my bed. Hard to gauge any advance on yesterday or last year. How it falters, breaks off at that sharp angle. The comfort of the familiar path. Even when someone's made good with filler, it opens again. <laughs> so I'm going to bring some language into the into the evening. I'm going to bring some colour into the evening. Um, this is a prosy poem. It's a long poem for me, um, and it's got all the re requisite vernacular as, as I see it. And um, uh, contract colours. Back in the days when I was working as a, a subby, were um, there were six contract colours, six door colours on the estates we worked on. But this is my version of those colours. Contract colours. 22. The woman who shoves the tea chest on wheels wants rose red on her doors. She's sick of the muck that's been on in this last five years. We've not had a minute to check how the colour scheme will fall, and she won't stop mithering us. 24. A big Alsatian lives here. It's had a go at everything, including the lorry engine on the drive. Mr. Grunder keeps yawping at it to Grunder. The doors will be delphinium like last time. We will paint them shut whilst the dog goes berserk at our steady hands framed in frosted glass. Blue on blue, no sweat. <laughs> 26. Sea rack. A colour we don't know yet. Yucky brown yellow. No one wants it. I'm not bloody having that, they tell us. We will decide. Who doesn't behave will have it for the next five years. <laughs> Despite his threats to reporters to the council, him here will be Sierra. 28. As the running order goes, this one will be Gorse. A bastard to get it to cover. And despite them down the office knowing this, they keep it on the spes. It takes three coats to obliterate and it's still grinny. We swear they stick with it, so we fail to make our bonuses. <laughs> 30. <coughs> it doesn't look like a Tracy to me, but we can't take our eyes off her. Curtains drawn all day. Gloves coming and going. Some mornings an HGV is parked up outside. Whatever she's up to is not our concern, only that we can't guarantee her the golden bronze she's fallen in love with. <laughs> 32. They've seen Lizard on the town hall and want Lizard but lizards not down on this scheme. They've looked after one another and this house since the war and leave us a drink and biscuits on the coal bunker. Once the contracts manager's been and gone, we might make an exception. 